everyone. Welcome back to FA channel. Future is now. We're all about celebrating our technology and creativity. Look how I all geared up. Hand tracking with leap motion because anime is just updated to support leap motion finally. Yay! So now I have leap motion toby eye tracker for my eye tracking and iPhone. So now I have three gears to support my whole face half body tracking. I really love this. Feel like I feel I have more freedom. In this episode, I will guide you to try on this new feature on animes that support a leap motion. And yeah, and let's see the difference between with a VRM file and a Ready Player Me file. Actually, there is not much different. I just really love. Like depends on what kind of um, result you want. You can go. You can try different avatars. Just a reminder when you were, when you just started to use animes, you need to update it, of course. And then they will ask you also turn on ultra leap sensor, also to update the leap motion drive. So the whole process is pretty simple and straightforward. It's nothing complicated. I think anime is really trying to collaborate, work with a lot of other software and um, gears to give the best experience for avatar face tracking. Like you can see, like every single movement is very accurate. I really love this. So now I will go show you, like I'll go show you and try it with different options because they have chess mode or the, and the table mode, which means you can put the leap motion on the table, do the do the hand tracking or put it in front of your chest, do the hand tracking. Let's go take a look and compare the difference. Let's go. Hey guys, look how accurate my hand tracking and eyeball is. Okay. Now I'm putting the leap motion on the table facing upwards. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. Like maybe need a little bit adjustment and it seems like my hand, if I go backwards, I'm just actually my, my hand is, I'm not open my arm pretty big, but it goes very big when I do that. I'm just like pull my hand a little bit far further and then moving. But the finger is really accurate. Like I think they're updating really well. So I think they have three mode chest mode where you can put in front of your in front of your chest neck part and then or on the table or on the head i assume the head is the vr headset so we're not going to touch that now i will try in front of the neck <laughs> what i will do at this moment is i don't have the gear to hold the leap motion from my neck so I ask my partner to put right from my neck and try it. Let's do it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, now you have to click on the chest mode. Okay. Now it's in front of my chest. Like, look, it's more like if I go backwards, it disappears because you have to right in front of the like imagine the leap motion is right on my neck. So you put your arm, hand in front of the camera, the leap motion. I, I, I kind of like this one more. So I feel like I can do this. I feel like the hand have more dimensions. Like I can do this like perfect, 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 perfect. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like the mo finger movement is very accurate, it's cool, but now my partner looks very tired. <laughs> you have to stand here and put his, um, put the leap motion right from my chest, but uh, we checked online. Okay, I'll put it back for now and I will let me talk about the, what you can do with it. Okay. I don't know if you can see the difference. Uh, 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 uh. 
Okay. I don't know if you can see the difference. Now, why am I shaking? Why am I just shaking? Ah! <laughs> Maybe I need, I need another reset. One second. Now I'm not shaking. <laughs> okay, perfect. You just need a little bit of adjustment. So what I did right now, the leap motion is on the table. If you want to do it, I don't know if you can tell the difference, but I kind of can tell the difference. Like my hand movement, like arm movement is way bigger when I put it on the table. When you are putting on your chest, seems like the range is smaller. So it's more, a slightly more accurate. So if you want to put on chest, you can, we try to find online. If you Google, if you Google shirt clip, you can find all kinds of little clip that people are selling. They make, they probably use 3D printer to print it out. They sell on Etsy for eight bucks. Or if you have a 3D printer, you can definitely make it for free. Um, anyway, so it's not that expensive to have a shirt clip. Depends on how much you want to use it. I think on table it working pretty well. And then you can see the finger like movement pretty accurate. It just sometimes I feel like my hand is a bit shaky. I don't know why, but maybe because of the lighting, I'm not too sure, but looks pretty good. What do you think? Let me know what you think. This is my Ready Player Me avatar. Now let's go try another avatar, the VRM avatar. Let's go try it, see if there's any different. Do, do, do. Let's try. Hi, hi. Okay, now I have the VRM file. Look, it looks so much better than before. Yay. I love how, how it moves in my head, in my eyeball. This is amazing. If you want to know how to in, use the VRM file on and on animes, please go check our previous video about how to convert to your VRM file and use on animes. If you want to use Ready Player Me avatar, we also got a video here. Please click, click on it if you're interested. Cool. Now it's also again I will try both way. Now is the leap motion on table. Now let's try it, leap motion on chest, manually. <laughs> Don't forget to click the ultra, ultra leap tracker and click on the chest mode. This is the chest mode, make little adjustment. Now I, cool. So this is the chest mode. Whoa, hey, one, two. Three, four, five. Wow, it's very good. It's very, very accurate. So when I, yeah, which one do you prefer? Actually, it really depends on what kind of avatar you're using too, which one you feel more comfortable, but I feel very like lively here. It's super accurate with everything together. I feel all fully geared up. Wow. <laughs> eh. <I don't> know. <laughs> Yay, cool. Okay, so that's all the testing I can show you. Like I I just really think this is like a game changer. I wanna start you because I've been using VC face for my avatar. Now I'm thinking maybe it's from start today. I may try it with I may you I may use the animes for the whole tracking since I have all geared up like with a toppy eye tracker like you can see my eyes are just really moving really well and then almost can see your soul <laughs> see through your soul with the avatar and yeah and then with the lead motion my hand looks very accurate moving and I got a chair in the back gaming chair also looks very professional I feel very professional VTuber now with all this geared up. So go take a look um, on our link below. The top eye tracker can get 5% off with our code. And also leap motion. If you want to gear up like me, best avatar face tracking experience, go take a look. And uh, yeah, I think it's all pretty worth it. Let me know what you think. Do you think this is what you're looking for? Do you think this is great? I'm 
still really look forward for more update from animes they always surprise me they just have all these new updates all the time it has been evolving so much since i start for with um face tracking now i feel like wow if you're interested you can go back and look at look at our previous videos <laughs> it seems like we have all the like the evolution of anime <laughs> of all the videos and this is like so far really the best i can feel i feel like I am my avatar. Every movement is a track you're tracking so well. Cool. Let me know if you have any questions and that's it for today's video. Please subscribe our channel for new updates every week. I also have a new playlist teaching learning Japanese and play game together if you're interested in learning some Japanese language. Cool. That's it for today's video. Hope you have a great day. Bye, take care.